You might think manufacturing a car is a swift process. Press, bend, weld a few pieces of sheet metal, add some lacquer and a suspension and voila, your wheels can roll. But things aren't quite that simple. Before the actual manufacturing process begins, there's lots and lots of preparation. It all starts with the design. How should the car look? and what combinations of materials and colours should be used. To avoid building a separate prototype for each variant of a model, SEAT uses virtual models that everyone involved can view from all sides. It's not only paint, says Javier Diaz, head of SEAT's prototype centre, it's also fabric, leather, everything. Diaz's department works day in, day out to ensure customer satisfaction. Once the decision makers agree on what they want, the first physical prototypes are built. But here too, modern technology makes it possible to experience the car in a different way. These sensors connect reality with virtual surroundings. Javier Diaz says most people think virtual reality glasses just came out two or three years ago, but SEAT has been using them for a long time. This pair was the company's first generation in 2003. They were very heavy, but developers could view the car in virtual reality. Sensors created a detailed image of the car. In the meantime, the technology has made big strides and plays an ever more important role. Designing with virtual reality saves time and money. But, uh, the most important thing of this virtual tool is that when you are immersive, you can check all the process uh, in the same way that it will be in the physics uh, pro uh, process. You can see the point of view of the worker, you can see how is the manipulation of the part, how is the ergonomy in the assembly, during the assembly of this prototype, and you can check every problem very soon in the virtual phase, and so you avoid to it, uh, find this problem later in the physical prototype. But design isn't everything. Material quality is crucial too. So various parts of the car are tested in various ways. For safety, it's important to X-ray wheel rims. We, we don't analyze every part, but all reference we produce here, uh, we, they are in the car, we analyze. What looks like a chest freezer is a chest freezer or more precisely, a climate chest that creates various temperatures and humidity levels so materials can be tested under simulations of harsh conditions. Before the, before the start of the test, we perform cuts and incisions in the painting of the wheel in order to to make the metal clear and the corrosion starts and we and we measure the advance of the corrosion. We have uh, the measures and, and standards that says how much the corrosion must, uh, must advance in our wheels for 10 days in the chamber test. But water, dirt, road salt and curbs aren't the only stresses placed on a car's exterior. There's also plain old sunlight. To achieve good material durability, samples are exposed to powerful ultraviolet light for several weeks. We wouldn't want the car's lacquer to discolour or become brittle. We want that the car be OK during 10 years. This means that this uh, test is really important to be sure that the degradation is not happening in the car. Then. Fine, it's okay. We can continue the test, but looks looks quite quite good. So back in goes the sample, and back on go the lights. Light is also the tool in the lab one story higher. Here, a scanning electron microscope is used to find tiny irregularities in lacquer samples.
it's important to check the uniformity of the of this layer and the size because this will be uh, give addition for all of the other layers the paint has six layers in total and will also prevent from the corrosion the final product after all these tests, a new vehicle with a new paint recipe and newly designed wheel rims is ready for the toughest quality control test of all. Once drivers take the car out on the road.